Good morning and welcome to this public meeting of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. We're meeting today to consider the draft notice of proposed rulemaking to establish safety standards for bassinets and cradles. We're going to start with questions for the, uh, for the staff. We have several staff members present to answer questions. If there are any, we're joined by Celestine Kish, uh, bassinet and cradle product manager for the Division of Human Factors, Alex Moscosos. Uh, Associate Executive Director for Economic Analysis, and Mary House and Charlotte Alton, attorneys in the Regulatory Affairs uh, Division of the Office of General Counsel, who are both joining by WebEx. Um, each commissioner will have five minutes for questions. We'll have multiple rounds if necessary. I actually believe that um, Dwayne Boniface is also online if necessary. Uh, after questions are complete, we are then going to consider any amendments if there are any. Um, as a reminder, if you have questions addressing the statutory interpretation or, or legal advice, pre please don't ask them at this time. So at this point in time, we're going to move to questions. I don't have questions for the staff. Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I don't have questions at this time either. Commissioner Trumka. I have no questions either. Thank you. Commissioner Boyle. No questions. Thank you. Great. With that, we're going to excuse staff and uh, move to consideration of the package. Thank you all. Before putting this uh, matter as proposed by staff to a vote, I'm going to entertain amendments and motions from commissioners. Um, I have an uh, amendment. We're going to recognize myself for three minute minutes. This is a manager's amendment that reflects conversations over the course of the last several weeks. Uh, and it's simple. It's uh, expanding upon one question for commenters and adding one que uh, additional question. You know, both are focused on the allowable tilt of bassinets, and if there's a reason to permit a greater tilt from head to toe as opposed from side to side, we would ask stakeholders to comment on whether wider bassinets should be allowed to have a side to side tilt if the caregivers may put a baby in sideways. And the amendment makes clear that the commission is interested in hearing about the, any potential risks that may arise in a 10 degree head to toe tilt, uh, not just those related to chin to test incidents. Is there a second? Second. Hearing a second, I'm um, going to turn to comments and questions from the other commissioners. Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for your work and your staff's work in putting together this manager's amendment. It makes sense to me. I have no questions. Thank you. Any hey, Commissioner Trumka? Yeah, uh, I agree. It makes sense to to learn more on these issues and, and get the right answers on the tilt angle. So uh, I support the amendment. Thank you. Commissioner Boyle. And thank you for your work, and I support the amendment as well. And I don't have any additional comments. So at this point in time, we're going to move to a vote. Commissioner Feldman? I vote yes. Commissioner Tromka? Yes. Yes, a vote to adopt uh, the amendment, that is. So yes from Commissioner Feldman? Yes. And Commissioner Boyle? Yes. And yes from me. So the yeses are four, the noes are zero, and the amendment is adopted. Now, going to other potential amendments, Commissioner Feldman, do you have any amendments? I have none. Thank you. Commissioner Trumka, do you have amendments? I do not. Thanks. And Commissioner Boyle, do no. you have amendments? No, no. I don't. Hear Great. Hearing no additional amendments, I'm going to move to approve the draft notice of proposed rulemaking on bassinets and cradles as amended. Is there a second? Second. Hearing a second, um, we're now, now going to move to a vote. Uh, this is a vote on the final uh, package. Commissioner Feldman? I vote yes. Commissioner Trumka? Yes. Commissioner Boyle? Yes. And I vote yes as well. So the yeses are four, the noes are zero. And the draft notice of proposed rulemaking on bassinets and cradles as amendment has been approved. So we're moving very quickly and not even giving me a chance to, to take a drink. Um, we're going to now move to a <laughs> bit early there, Alex. <laughs> it's often been asked, this is tea as opposed to anything else of it. Um, we're now going to move to closing statements. Each commissioner will have 10 minutes. So, first of all, I, I'm going to wreck myself for 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to start by thanking staff for all their hard work on putting this um, proposal together. In 2021, the Infant Sleep Products Rule established the Bassinets uh, standard as the baseline safety for products that are marketed and intended for infant sleep. Uh, 
you know, this puts a burden on CPSC to ensure that the standard for bassinets remains strong and is not weakened. And in 2022, the commission un unanimously rejected an update to the ASTM's uh, voluntary bassinet standard of concern for that uh, for the proposal, which created a new product category of compact bassinets and allowed for the elimination of legs or stands for bassinets, which would have reduced safety. The proposal we move forward to this morning uh, would adopt portions of the revised 2022 ASTM voluntary standard that improve safety, as well as proposed changes to strengthen the standard to require minimum height for the uh, sleep surface and the uh, top bar of the bassinet. The reason for these proposed changes is to discourage caregivers from putting bassinets on couches, beds, other soft surfaces that can create a risk for infants. There are a lot of questions for commenters at the end of this package, and I encourage all stakeholders to take those questions seriously and take the time to give us your input. Those comments will be essential for the staff as they develop a final rule. So thanks again to the staff, and I look forward to hearing comments from stakeholders. Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would uh, largely associate, associate myself with uh, with all the comments you just made. Uh, I do in particular want to thank staff for uh, all of their work, not only on the package that we voted to approve today, uh, but all the engineering, human factors, and other research that's gone into uh, getting us to where we are. Uh, uh, looking forward, uh, a critical part of this process involves uh, reviewing the comments that, that we receive. Um, happy to put this this NPR app for comment and uh, looking forward to reviewing those comments, which is a critical part of this process going forward. Thank you very much. Commissioner Trumka. You know, there's a, there's a lot of scary numbers that we look at in this agency, but the scariest one to me is the 3,600 infant sleep deaths that we are working to address every year. And there are so many unsafe places to put a baby to sleep. But when we think about a safe place to put a baby to sleep, it's bassinets and it's cribs. And that's what we point people back to. We're doing tons of work to make those other spaces safe. Those ones that have that have you know popped up uh, over the years and continue to pop up. Um, but as we continue to point back to to bass nets and cribs, I, I want us to be as confident as we can that we're pointing to a safe space. This proposal gets us that direction. This proposal is is really important to make sure that those say stay the safe haven for safe sleep. And so I'm very happy to support this rule. I'm very happy we advance it today. Commissioner Boyle. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I also want to thank the staff who worked on the proposed rule. And I also want to thank you for over for the many years you've worked to develop an array of strong safety standards for durable and infant products that CPSC now has on the books following congressional direction over 15 years ago to develop such standards. This latest effort builds on the statutory command that the commission periodically review and revise these standards to ensure that they provide the highest level of safety for such products that is feasible. It is fitting that the commission's first such review involves bassinets, a product geared not only for infants generally, but largely for the youngest of infants from newborns to three or four months of age, a cohort that is at heightened risk. For example, infants two to six months of age, premature infants, and infants who are born as a set of multiples are at the highest risk of positional asphyxia because they may be able to move in the sleep environment but can lack the physical capability to self-rescue from a hazardous situation. Indeed, data from a number of our recent rulemakings confirms that the majority of incidents involve the youngest infants. Of the fatalities associated with infant loungers, for example, more than 80% involved infants three months and younger. The recently approved notice of proposed rulemaking on infant rockers showed a similarly concerning pattern in the youngest age group. That is why I offered amendments to that proposed rulemaking approved by the commission seeking comment on a number of issues, including whether a minimum age should be specified, information on the biomechanical differences that impact the risks of injury and death for premature infants and infants under four months, and whether that the product should include a warning label aimed specifically at that age group. In the context of bassinets, a product intended largely for the youngest of the youngest Providing the highest level of safety feasible must inform the path forward. And as we continue our work on infant products in general, including the review and revision of such of rules already in place, we should continue to focus on the youngest age group and those infants with immature physiological systems so that we can reduce the heightened risk for this vulnerable population. 
one of the most solemn responsibilities we have is to protect that population. And I believe the proposed bassinet rule provides a roadmap to do so through improved performance requirements and enhanced warnings. And I look forward to receiving stakeholder comments on these proposals. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you again to the staff and to the commissioners working on this to move this package forward. Uh, this concludes today's decisional meeting of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Uh, at this time, we are going to actually ask everybody who is not from the public or not supposed to be here to be leaving and as we transition to a closed compliance briefing. <laughs>